Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. Subscribe and join the fam. I was supposed to have class all day today, like 10 to 7. But my first class got cut short. She said it was only going to be half a day. And I live 35 minutes from campus, so I was like, I'm not going for just an hour. So do as I say, not as I do, and go to class. I am dressed and ready to go early now. I'm wearing my Be Able leggings and this cropped sweatshirt with this big oversized plaid flannel. Now that I have the morning free, I think I'm going to go just make some breakfast, go to the gym, and then spend the rest of my day doing homework and working on a project before I go to my afternoon class, which I am going to. It was rough and I say that because I started out making my coffee which you guys didn't see because I use the Chobani creamers which are amazing by the way but I had to shake the one and the cap wasn't completely on and you can imagine what happened after that so I spent 10 minutes cleaning the kitchen and then I decided to make breakfast and after that I wasn't feeling like actually cooking so I need to make something fast. So a yogurt bowl. It was. Since I'm supposed to be in class right now, I think I'm just going to do homework for the next hour, hour and a half. Try to get some done since I would be like in class anyways and then after that probably go to the gym since I won't be able to go tomorrow and this weekend and then I have class at 4 15 to 7 and then come home I think I'm gonna be to make like a one person dinner because my parents and whole family will be gone and then we'll see where the night takes us Okay, since I'm on my computer and like doing stuff right now, I'm just kind of going to go over like how I study, how I organize my homework and do everything like that. So I am in my last semester of nursing school, so I graduate in December and then a lot of our stuff is based around the NCLEX and like getting ready for practice. So my one class is management and leadership or leadership and management and that's considered our capstone which everyone has to have to graduate college. And then my other one is synthesis and that one is your like main course for before graduation. Now in leadership and management since it's a capstone there is not like major tests or quizzes or anything we have like three little quizzes throughout the semester just to make sure we're focusing on like the powerpoints and the information but besides that our main thing is a big evidence-based project this can be on anything really like we have clinicals and those follow a manager and you talk to your manager about like issues on the unit you're on and you come up with a project to implement a change You'll learn about like EBPs and these type of articles and projects throughout all of nursing school which leads you up to this class and making your own. So honestly for that class I just spend maybe one or two days a week kind of going through the project and coming up with information and basically everything that we need. Now that it's only three weeks a month away from graduation we're working on finalizing that. 
but that I do maybe once or twice a week when I have like free time during a clinical or a weekend or something like that. Now my other class, synthesis, that one is preparing you, like I said, for the NCLEX and your practice. So in class, we do a lot of like practice questions for the NCLEX, practice tests, practice quizzes, learning like how to answer questions based on the question type, try to focus in on like very basic broad information, not super detailed like all of your other classes. My school for this class made us buy UWorld and I highly suggest buying this your last semester of school even if your class or teacher whatever does not require it. It is, I think it was like 300 for like 3,000 questions and two assessments. And basically what UWorld is, is it's a online learning platform so that you can prepare for the NCLEX questions. And most people buy something like this once they graduate school anyways. I bought, or we had to buy the six month or 180 day access plan. So that got me from September until the end of February, which I think is great because it gives you six whole months to go over all these questions, all the assessments, re-go through questions if you use them all. And it's a great way to learn how to answer certain questions because they are very different than your typical med search test or something. And let me show you real quick how it looks. Basically this is the screen you log into and you can sort it by certain subjects and then when you click a subject, you can also sort it by certain systems in that subject. And then you do however many questions you want and you create a test. You can look in your performance and basically see how well you're doing on each category. So again, my school required us to get this, but even if it doesn't, I highly recommend because it basically just goes in and shows you what you need to work on, what you're doing good on, and gets your mind going for those certain types of NCLEX questions that you're going to need to know how to answer. It also helps with your exit HESI that you have to take, so. So anyways, I do 25 questions a day on that. I'll take one day off during the week, usually like a really busy day of clinical or work or something. But besides that, I do 25 questions a day. Once we are out of school, our professor recommends about doing 40 to 60 questions a day. And again, just gets your mind going, how to answer the questions, doing a lot of questions at once, all of that. There's great rationales on it, so that you can learn things, you can do flashcards, so much on here. So I usually spend my first 30 minutes to an hour of my day doing these 25 questions. And if I have clinical or something, I usually do it during a lunch break. So after I do those UWorld questions I just talked about, I usually spend the next 30 minutes to an hour, whatever, like however long it depends, doing homework that's due for the next day. Usually I have homework due on Wednesday and Sundays. So Tuesday I'll spend a lot of the time doing homework due that's Wednesday and Thursday or Friday, I'll spend a lot of time doing homework that's due Sunday, that way I don't have to worry about it for the weekend. These just include like, we have to do like video reviews on nurses and small little reflection papers or we have to do little quizzes on UWorld, kind of just little busier task things. We have three HESIs, well all one HESI, they're all the extra HESIs, but three versions that we have to take to graduate. So. Once a week, I go over a study guide for HESI, and that's just like on Quizlet, online things I found. Um, the actual HESI website has like a study guide you can make based on questions you got wrong. And that's really about it. Honestly, a lot of the homework is just very like busy and like a lot of effort, but not like a lot physically once a week i also do an n o'clock study thing or i try to once a week if i have the time this semester is hard to find time to do certain things like consistently because my clinical schedule is so random you basically get assigned a nurse a preceptor they call it and you follow their schedule 
and you come up with your own days so it's not like every monday i have clinical it's like one week it'll be monday friday one week it'll be nothing the next week it could be thursday like completely random so each week i have to make a new schedule for myself for the nclex i try to do that once a week if not every other week and i right now while i'm in school at least just listen to mark Klemek lectures and i'm only on lecture three because they are like an hour and a half two hours long so that's a big chunk of time so i usually split it into two or three like time frames i just do like basic notes on it and these lectures are more of how to answer question styles like looking for cues in a question like certain words certain endings for medications certain like mnemonics to remember so that you can answer a question correctly not necessarily material based so it's not a lot of information to listen to which is good and then the material based ones are the you world questions i do so i watch one of his lectures usually in one of the afternoons that i don't have a lot of homework to do so that's how i study i don't know pretty random but i wanted to let you guys know because if you're in your last semester of nursing school it can get pretty crazy lighting is terrible because it's so freaking gloomy outside but i just got back from the gym every time after the gym i always put on this uh my cellar me cellar i forget how to say it i don't know but i always put that on my face because my like you sweat during your workout and i don't want to like fully wash my face again in the middle of the day since that's like when i usually work out not morning or night so i just put some of this on because it like just refreshes my skin gets all the sweat and oil off so i'm going to do that um i mean i'm already dressed for my class later this is all i'm going to wear put on some boots and go to class at four it's almost three so i'm going to have a snack probably edit a video i don't have like a crap ton of homework to do this week so I think I'm going to try to edit part of a video, my holiday gift guide, and go to school. Which is going to suck because it's literally going to get dark as soon as my class starts. So it feels like I'm in class at like 10pm when I'm really there at like 4 to 7. And then I get out and I have to drive in the pitch dark home. And then by the time I get home, I'm ready for bed because that's what it looks like outside. <laughs> at my house and yes i already changed in my pajamas because listen it is eight o'clock already i'm tired i'm not going to be doing anything else today besides sitting in my house so i want to be comfy and this is a matching pajama set from target my brother got me that was not a sentence my brother got it for me last christmas and softest thing i have ever worn so highly recommend but on the drive home, I was thinking like, you know, my parents are out to eat with their friends right now. Dinner is not going to be made. Usually I have no problem making dinner. Love cooking. But like at 8 o'clock, after I just had a three-hour class, wasn't feeling it. So, 
I stopped and got sushi. I got this at Kroger. I was gonna buy like dessert too and I was like, no, 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 I don't eat that. I'll just get a big sushi and I'll just eat it all because I haven't eaten that much today, weirdly. So that is what I'm going to do. This light's really orange because it's like this middle light, not our actual lights up there. But anyways, this sushi is California roll, California salad roll, and a Philly roll. And I am super excited to eat it, except I did forget chopsticks. So I guess I'm eating with my fingers. I am going to have a nice little relaxing night to myself because I don't think my parents will be home for probably another like two hours and my brother works night shift so I'm the only one here. We're gonna eat my sushi, put the fireplace on, watch maybe a Hallmark movie or something because I hate to admit it but I'm obsessed with Hallmark. Um, yes, they're bad. Yes, they're cheesy but like can I stop watching it? No. That's my little nightly plan. end the vlog off here for you guys because obviously I'm ready for bed. I feel like when I do my day in the lives I literally vlog all the way up until I'm ready to fall asleep. With that said, subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.